Welcome to all our I God Today followers, not only in this country, but around the world as well. My name is Brother Stephen Party, SVD, and I am privileged to be with you today. It's September 25th, Wednesday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time. Text us with your compliments, comments. And speaking of text, we come to what Luke has to tell us today. In his time, there were no, no newspapers. There were books were very rare and handwritten. Radio and the power of their unknown waves were inconceivable. And so Jesus sent out his 12 to try out their ability to speak for him. Today, we now experience the mixed blessings of modern communications. But in their case, they would travel light. Traveling light means that they could travel fast. The more things we have, the more we are tied to one spot, and this was not to be the case. God does require a settled ministry, but he also needs those who are not tied to earthly things to serve the kingdom, to go and spread the good news. And evidently, they had an effect, as seen by Herod's concern. In his way of thinking, the prophet Elijah the forerunner seems to have come at last, and thus may be the great promised prophet, as told in Deuteronomy. Herod, after all, had thought he solved that problem with the elimination of John the Baptist. Had he now come back to haunt him? But the one thing Jesus had instructed them, they now in fact did. They set out and they went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and curing diseases everywhere. In other words, they join preaching with healing. Jesus' message proposed to change conditions on the earth. It wasn't just good feelings. Jesus had concern for men's souls, but he also was concerned about their physical well-being too, and he still does. Jesus sent out his first disciples to preach the kingdom but he didn't want them to forget about the human concerns they encountered either. So may we use the media to perpetuate his message today. Text us what you think. Amen. Thank you for partnering with WordNet. Now we have an easy and fun way of making your donations to WordNet. Use the number that is on the screen to text your amount and follow the on-screen instructions. Thank you very much and be blessed always.